Today we are going to learn about indefinite integration problems from question number 1 to 12. Now we are going to discuss about question number 1, integration of sin 2x dx. Let me use the formula here. Here my formula is integration of sin ax dx which is equal to minus cos ax divided by a plus c where a value is plus 2. Hence required answer is minus cos 2x divided by 2 plus c. Now let us learn about question number 2 integration of cos 3x dx. Here let me use the formula integration of cos ax dx which is equal to sin ax divided by a plus c where a equal to 3. Hence the required answer is sin 3x divided by 3 plus c. Now let us learn about question number 3 integration of e power 3x dx. Now let me use the formula here integration of e power ax dx which is equal to e power ax divided by a plus c where a equal to 3. Hence the required answer is e power 3x divided by 3 plus c. Now we are going to discuss about question number 4. Integration of ax plus b whole square dx. Here formula is integration of x power n dx which is equal to x power n plus 1 divided by n plus 1 plus c where n equal to 2. Then my required answer is ax plus b whole power 2 plus 1 divided by 2 plus 1 into a plus c. Then the resultant answer is ax plus b whole cube divided by 3a plus c where denominator a is nothing but internal derivative. Now we are going to discuss about question number 5 integration of sin 2x minus 4 e power 3x dx. Now let me consider the formula integration of sin ax dx which is equal to minus cos ax divided by a plus c where a equal to 2. Hence the required answer is minus cos 2x divided by 2. Now let me consider second formula integration of e power ax dx which is equal to e power ax divided by a plus c where a equal to 3. Now my answer will be modified as minus 4 e power 3x divided by 3 plus c. Now let us discuss about question number 6 integration of 4 e power 3x plus 1 dx. Now let me consider the formula integration of e power x dx which is equal to e power ax divided by a plus c where a equal to 3. Hence my required answer will be 4 e power 3x divided by 3. Now let me consider another formula integration of 1 dx which is equal to x plus c. Hence my required answer will be 4 e power 3x divided by 3 plus x plus c. Let us discuss about question number 7 integration of x square into 1 minus 1 divided by x square whole dx. Now if I multiply x square inside x square minus x square divided by x square whole dx. Now if you observe second term, second term will get cancelled. Hence my modified question will be x square minus 1 dx. Now let me consider the formula integration of x power n dx which is equal to x power n plus 1 divided by n plus 1 plus c where n equal to 2. Hence my required answer will be x cube divided by 3. Now let me consider the formula integration of 1 dx which is equal to x plus c. Now my answer will be minus x plus c. Hence my required answer will be x cube divided by 3 minus x plus c. Now let us discuss about question number 8 integration of ax square plus bx plus c. Now let me consider the formula integration of x power n dx which is equal to x power n plus 1 divided by n plus 1 plus c where n equal to 2 and 1. Hence my required answer will be a x cube divided by 3 plus b x square divided by 2. Now let me consider the one formula integration of k dx which is equal to kx plus c. Hence cx plus m will be added to my answer where m is nothing but an arbitrary constant. Now let us discuss about question number 9 integration of 2x square plus e power x dx. Now let me apply the formula integration of x power n dx which is equal to x power n plus 1 divided by n plus 1 plus c where n equal to 2. Then in my answer the first term will be 2x cube divided by 3. Now let me consider e power ax dx formula which is equal to e power ax divided by a plus c where a equal to 1. Hence in my answer the second term will be e power x plus c. Hence here required answer is 2x cube divided by 3 plus e power x plus c. Now let us learn about question number 10 integration of root x minus 1 by root x whole square dx. Now let me apply the formula a minus b whole square which is equal to a square plus b square minus 2ab where a equal to root x and b equal to 1 by root x. 
then my modified question will be integration of x plus 1 by x minus 2 whole dx now if you consider x power n dx formula which is equal to x power n plus 1 divided by n plus 1 plus c where n equal to 1 now my first term will can be written as x squared divided by 2 now let me consider one more formula integration of 1 by x dx which is equal to log mod x plus c now my second term will be plus log mod x now let me consider here one more formula integration of k dx which is equal to kx plus c where k equal to minus 2 third term will be minus 2x plus c my required answer is x squared divided by 2 plus log mod x minus 2x plus c now let us discuss about question number 11 integration of x cube plus 5x square minus 4 divided by x square whole dx now let me split the numerator x cube divided by x square plus 5x square divided by x square minus 4 divided by x square now if you observe in first term and second term there are some cancellations hence my question can be written as integration of x plus 5 minus 4 x power minus 2 whole dx now let me apply the formula integration of x power n dx which is equal to x power n plus 1 divided by n plus 1 plus c where n equal to 1 hence my first term will be x squared divided by 2 now let me consider here second formula integration of k dx which is equal to kx plus c where k equal to 5 now my second term will be plus 5x now let me consider one more formula integration of x power n dx which is equal to x power n plus 1 divided by n plus 1 plus c where n equal to minus 2 hence my third term can be written as minus 4 x power minus 2 plus 1 divided by minus 2 plus 1 plus c now my final answer will be x squared divided by 2 plus 5x plus 4 divided by x plus c let us discuss about question number 12 integration of x cube plus 3x plus 4 divided by root x dx now let me split the numerator integration of x cube divided by root x plus 3x divided by root x plus 4 divided by root x whole dx if we simplify the given question then it can be written as integration of x power 5 by 2 plus 3 into x power 1 by 2 plus 4 into x power minus 1 by 2 now let me apply the formula integration of x power n dx which is equal to x power n plus 1 divided by n plus 1 plus c where n equal to 5 by 2 hence here first term can be written as x power 5 by 2 plus 1 divided by 5 by 2 plus 1 now let me apply the same formula where n equal to 1 by 2 now the second term can be written as plus 3 into x power 1 by 2 plus 1 divided by 1 by 2 plus 1 now once again let me apply the same formula integration of x power n dx where n equal to minus 1 by 2 hence third term can be written as plus 4 into x power minus 1 by 2 plus 1 divided by minus 1 by 2 plus 1 plus c hence the required answer is 2 by 7 into x power 7 by 2 plus 2 into x power 3 by 2 plus 8 into x power 1 by 2 plus c i hope everyone have understand this video if you understand this video please like it share it and subscribe it